Thanks for joining us for another episode. Uh, I'm Paul, this is Caleb, both from Underwood Ammo. Um, one of the questions we commonly get about our products, um, specifically the Defender line and the Penetrator line is, what's the difference between the Penetrator and the Defender? Because they look very similar. So I don't know if you wanna go into a little detail about those differences. Yeah, definitely. And uh, before I started working with Underwood Ammo, I used to always think the Penetrator was the best self-defense round. Um, and so what we always had to educate ourselves on and others is the Penetrator is geared for woods carry, woods defense, uh, hunting. Uh, our friends in Alaska, Wyoming, Montana, they love the Penetrator uh, for bear bear hunts, dangerous, uh, dangerous, dangerous game. game, anything that's of a big size. And so what's the difference? Because they do look, for the most part, geometrically similar, but as you can see, that the Defender has a rounded nose, it has wider flutes, uh, where the Penetrator is of a brunt, uh, 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 just a brunt nose and has thinner flutes. Now they do, in essence, perform similar, you know, uh, off of the fluid dynamic. And uh, so they do give you very much so this most similar uh, performance as far as in what it does cavitation wise. Uh, however, the big difference is, is the penetrator is gonna penetrate quite a bit deeper. Uh, we're looking at anywhere from our lower standing penetrators from 40 inches to some of our higher calibers, our bigger calibers, our big game hunt calibers, we're looking at 50 to 55 inches. Uh, what it does is uh, it actually replicates for the most part, what a lead bullet will do. So, yeah, how's, how's, how's that on par with like a hard cast lead? So, so the big thing is, is um, they penetrate both the same as far as in deep. Now, the th the biggest difference is, is lead is just a huge chunk of lead. You know, it it doesn't do anything that's different. Uh, the the solid copper though, it does not deform just like a lead bullet. It, it acts very much so similar. Um, where if it hits bone structure, bone mass, thick tissue, uh, fatty tissue in the animal. It, it acts just like that lead bullet where it is penetrating deep, it hits it hard. I always use a freight train. It's like a freight train hitting something. It's still gonna hit it, it's gonna penetrate, it doesn't matter what it is that's in front of it. Now, the thing that you asked, Paul, was the difference between the two or what is it similar to. We also do understand that uh, people always are scared to shoot lead through their Glock barrel. Mm -hmm. that's, that's always one. Uh, and we know that you can do that, however, the solid copper does have a cleaner burn and it does do better in the barrel because uh, it's just a solid copper projectile. You don't have to worry about lead fouling. Lead fouling yep. Yeah, yep. yeah, and so uh, don't worry about that at all with this bullet. It probably on, on a price point, um, you know, copper typically costs a little more than lead, so probably mm -hmm. the hard cast lead would be a little less, might be a little higher price point, but but you'll get, like you said, the the, the performance out of it mm -hmm. and, and the lack of, of a copper foul, or sorry, cop, lack of the uh, lead fouling. Yeah, well, and the other thing too about lead is that lead is uh, usually heavier. Mm -hmm. So it makes your gun heavier, makes your magazine heavier. Uh, and sometimes when you're talking about certain like bigger calibers, um, sometimes we push that lead to the max. So for example, 10 millimeter, 220 grain, it pushes most stock barrels to the max. And they, not stock barrels will handle it, but we're talking about 140 grain, for example, in this instance, um, projectile that's doing very much so the similar thing that lead is doing. Uh, now lead will penetrate a little bit deeper, we have found out, but this bullet acts just like a lead projectile without the lead. Uh, it's lighter though, it's faster, so therefore stability, it actually does a little better in flight. And also with that being working off of fluid dynamics, uh, lead doesn't work on fluid dynamics. Lead hits whatever it hits and it penetrates. Uh, this knows um, in its own little brain, <laughs> I always like to say in our projectiles, it knows, hey, I can't perform until I feel that fluid. Yeah, I can't I can't do my energy dump until I feel that fluid. I can't penetrate as deep until I feel that fluid. And so that's the thing that makes this bullet so cool and so um, different. Now, the thing that we tell people is, is don't ever use that, that bullet in self-defense. You know, uh, FBI states that 18 inches is the max. Uh, every one of our penetrators are going to penetrate more than 18 inches. So you will get over penetration. Right. You shoot that in an apartment building, you're going to shoot through somebody, and you're going to shoot through that wall probably as well. Uh, because this bullet is geared for outside woods carry, woods defense, um, and for our hunting for big games. Um, and that's, that's why we always try to make sure people understand, use a penetrator for that. The other thing that is a uh, difference with them is that the flutes on here is just like the Defender flutes we talked about in our last episode, where it gives you 30% faster um, velocity once it enters into that wound cavity. 
Uh, makes the same type of cavitation, very similar, not as wide as the Defender because the flutes are not as wide. However, it still gives you the similar cavitation that like a boat propeller would do uh, inside of the ocean. Uh, it gives you the similar cavitation, um, and then also it gives you that deep burn, that deep penetration. It makes your gun lighter. Uh, magazines are lighter, uh, shoots a little better, uh, and I like to tell people all the time it shoots flatter. So most of the time when you're in the woods, uh, sometimes you might not have a 15 or 20 yard shot. You might be shooting 100 yards. Um, now more days, now guns are made in carbines, so people are shooting a lot longer distances with pistol rounds. And so we pref we we manufacture this literally almost every single thing we make, don't we? I mean, yeah, I think just about. And, and I guess when you get into some of the the hunting cartridges, mm -hmm. actually, there's a slight variation um, known as the the hunter, yep. which is very similar to yep. one of them. Yes, it's very similar to the penetrator. The hunter, yeah. though, I always tell people. Make sure you understand, the Hunter is good for, for hunts. It, that's what it's for, it's for woods carry. However, the Hunter has wider flutes, uh, so it slows down faster. So I always tell people, are we talking grizzly bear or are we talking black bear? Because that's two different things. If we're talking grizzly, I want as much as I possibly can get. <laughs> Taking the penetrator then. Yeah, yeah, you want to take the penetrator. But if we're talking white-tailed deer, we're talking uh, if people want to go coyote hunting, things like that, uh, we always want to let people know, well, the, the hunter is more than fine. It's, it's perfect for that. However, if it's we're talking grizzly, we're talking mountain lion, uh, we're going to use a penetrator or we're going to use a hard-cast bullet uh, because we want to get as much as we possibly can get out of that caliber or that cartridge. However, as you said, Paul, we do manufacture that, I believe, in rifle rounds, don't we? Yep. Yeah. It was pretty pretty popular and pretty common in 4570 yes. and a couple others. 4570 is a super popular round. Super popular I, d I didn't know 4570 was as popular as it was until I started working at Underwood. Uh, last year, we couldn't keep 4570 in stock. Uh, I believe we're in stock on majority of the 4570, and um, we sell a ton of the 4570s and extreme penetrators, uh, the extreme hunters, and it's a great hunting round. We have not, and I'm not saying this because I work for Underwood, I have not heard not one negative story from a hunt with the pen okay. penetrators, never. I, I don't know, have you ever heard? Nope. Yeah, I mean, it's it's been uh, remarkable about what the penetrator does um, and, and the way the bullet is, is designed. And also when we hunt, Paul's a hunter, I'm a hunter, uh, sometimes you don't get a clean shot. And so if you're hunting with a lead bullet, uh, potentially brush could uh, stop your flight of travel or, or alter it. Um, it can make it start losing energy a little faster because it's just a hunk of lead. But the penetrator, however, understands and knows that it doesn't matter what it touches, what it hits, it doesn't uh, do its performance or its job until it fills that liquid cavity. Um, so that's what makes them really interesting. Uh, another thing that we like about the penetrators is that uh, it doesn't deform, just like a lead bullet. Right. That solid copper doesn't deform at all, and um, we love the way that it performs inside the cavitation of the animal. Um, we have not seen um, anything as to date that I know of that has made any of those flutes not perform the way they're supposed to form or do anything that they're supposed to do. All right, so what you're saying there, you know, the, the, the difference is really in the name. I mean, Defender versus Penetrator. The Penetrator penetrates deep. So. Correct. All right. Hopefully we've kept that simple, but if we've made it too complicated, just reach out to us. There's an email address at the bottom of the screen. Um, let us know if you have any questions. Thank you. Thank you.